Hello, hope everybody's having a good day so far. Uh, hey Rexus, hello Ali, and he hello anybody watching. Uh, figure you know what? I think we're, I think we're a little bit close to the end of West of Loathing, but we'll have to see. I was just watching a vid on 2x and that kazoo caught me off guard. <laughs> East of Loving. Yeah. How's our Wednesday so far? Hope you're well. I'm doing well. I just bought myself a pair of steel-toed boots, because I can. Alright, cool. Yesterday was too long. How is it already 6 o'clock? Uh, because of the time change. Sorry, I'm just trying to... to get three hours of sleep because of time change and then work seven hours. The other savings is a fuck, but it's it's better for me, like, my thinking in, the, like, the autumn. Because then you're, like, you're, you're, you're closer and closer to hibernation, so you do get that extra hour. Now, this is a one-way train, so there's no sense to go out there now. Okay. wonder what day it is. Change your whatever. Looks like somebody got on that train or on that train got a job as the projectionist. Would you like to watch this movie? It's free because movies have only recently been invented and nobody has figured out that they can charge for them yet. No, doing this will not change anything about the world or your character. When the cutscene is over, you'll still be right here and you can keep playing if you want. Oh, it's the oh, it's the final cutscene. No, I'm not doing that. Is just the end credits. Oh, <laughs> what this town really needs is some kind of rice-based treat. All right. Oh boy, another spittoon. Let's go. Uh, what's the excitement? I've given up. This is the last spittoon in the game, and I'm not going to try to convince you not to be the most disgusting person on earth anymore. Let's go. Let's do this. Yes, yeah, search that filthy spittoon. You kneel down on the floor and throw your arms around the spittoon. Give it a greasy brass bucket, a great big hug. How about a kiss? Would you like to kiss it? Oh, my goodness. In case that was somehow not obvious. Nah, I kind of figured. You know it, baby. You fuck her up and give the spittoon a great big kiss right on the rim. Is her tongue involved? Well, I'll leave that up to you. But even without it, it tastes like a burning horse. I love it. Say the line. Oh, the fire 64? <laughs> I know you do, friend, and if it were legal in this country, I'd let you marry that spittoon and have a beautiful romantic honeymoon night with it. But unfortunately, you're going to have to settle for wearing it as a hat. Yes, please. You flip that beautiful brass bucket over and slap it on your head, drenching yourself in hot brown tobacco spit. It washes over your face and hair like a sewage waterfall, soaking your clothes, running down your collar, and slithering into your underwear. And filling your boots. I can't even force myself to describe it any, in any more detail than that. You're the world's foulest human being. Congratulations. Yeah, I do, baby. When you kiss it. Okay. I think there's a Spittoons in the DLC, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, there is a DLC for this game. Six Mysticality, 11th spell damage. You know, I had to. This lady has a rocker and her whiskey. Ask about it. Whiskey on the rocks, eh? Haha. <laughs> that was a little funny the first time I heard it today. So by now it should be a laugh riot, right? Mm-hmm. Seriously, though, why are you ruining that whiskey with that rock? I'm not here to drink. I'm doing important research. I just wanted you to say it with enthusiasm and exuberance. No. What kind of research do you do? I'm testing the effects of various liquids on hypercrystalline thalmorphic diorites. Today's liquid is ethanol. I'm guessing I'm going on a limb here, but I'm guessing you're some kind of scientist. Good guess. Specifically, I'm an arcanogeologist? Arcano magical rocks? Hey, not bad. You got it in one. Dr. Josie Morton, at your service. I'm Final Fire. My second guess was going to be buttholes, but rocks don't have those. N not typically, no. 
Thank you for the hydrate imposter jerk. The whiskey adds flavor to the stone. <laughs> Have you met the professor? That guy, the uh, the guy researching at Alva uh out by Gustavus and Gulch, that's him. His work is really intriguing, but our fields of study don't overlap as much as you'd expect. No? I thought Alva Brado uh, would have been right up your alley. There's all kinds of magical rocks and that stuff. Yeah, but those rocks were heavily modified by the Alva Bretoians. My interest is in magical rocks that are naturally occurring states. Ah, I see. I have a teaspoon of sugar on my desk. Do I snort it? Why is that a question? No. That would hurt. It's it's way too coarse. Morton, huh? Any relation to that emperor guy? Who? There was a weird outside calling him Emperor Norton. Or em himself Emperor Norton. Are you asking me if I'm related to someone because our last names rhyme? Well, not anymore. How's your whiskey experiment going? Not great, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting much. This test should really be done with pure ethanol, but it's hard to get that out here, so I'm trying whiskey just for the heck of it. But the impurities in it would screw up my findings even if I had any. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Hey, your rock just turned blue. Oh, that's unrelated. Hypercrystalline thalmorphic diorite turns blue every 23 minutes. Huh. A colleague who patented a design for a watch based on that property of it, but a 23 minute watch is very useful. Plus, you know, the whole cancer thing. Cancer? Uh, yes. Uh, did you think I wasn't drinking this because of the flavor? It's because I don't want a tumor that can yell its own name. Wow. You cannot fight it anymore. Or at least for the next five minutes. How's it going, General? This is how explaining your own universe's ancient science to someone who has no idea what the hell you're talking about. Feels like better. I'm hungry. Well, why don't you get something to snack on? Or dinner. They didn't learn and decided to pretend to do it with pixie dust. Oh, oh, pixie dust. What the fuck? Oh, that shit would burn. Reminds me of that stupid shit my friend Brody used to do. He 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 like stuck a like a spicy ramen noodle in his on on his tongue, like sucked it back a little bit and then coughed it out of his nose and then he could just pull the noodle between his his mouth and his nose and his all all my friends and I were just kind of disgusted because he's he's trying to be impressive while also crying because it's spicy ramen. I, I love the guy to bits though he was awesome. Food just got here nice. It's hit, burned their nose, and they couldn't get rid of it. It was hilarious to watch. Deserved, honestly. Can you help with your experiments? Sure, I can always use more samples. If you find anything interesting, any interesting rocks, bring them by my house. What counts as interesting? I haven't seen any rocks that turn blue. Oh, just anything a rock that doesn't ordinarily do. Moving around on its own, defying gravity, displaying rudimentary intelligence. What about a rock that plays the banjo? Ha. Have you seen a rock that plays the banjo? Oh no, I was just one-offing. Jeez Louise, don't get my hopes up like that. I'll sing by if I find interesting rocks. Alright, thanks. Hope to see you soon. She pays her tap, fishes, out the, f fishes the rock out of her whiskey and leaves. You decide there's no sense in throwing the bath water out with the baby, so you pocket the whiskey. Nice. Sorry, no darts. Management. Did I ever tell you about the time when my mom made, made me order a burger from McDonald's so I ordered hamburger with just ketchup and they gave me a buns with ketchup on them? Not even a patty, just a pair of buns of ketchup. Why? Is it a joke because it's a drink? Uh, yeah, it was the first joke made in that conversation, Ally. <laughs> I'll be a new face. I'm Clune C. Make yourself at home. Thanks, I'm fine of fire. New to town? I've been helping Manifest Destiny get the rail tracks laid. It was a tough job, but we finally got here. Sounds like you could, sounds like you could use a a drink. Clincy, I sure could. Uh, what can you tell me about Frisco? Oh, it's a fine town. A fellow named Samson Frisco founded it way back when mines first opened way out this way, and everyone caught the fever. 
Mining fever? Yep, the kind you get from breathing too much dirt. Frisco was a doctor, you see. Oh, I see. What's with the huge brawl over there on the right? Oh, them, them fellows are always blowing off steam. I just want to go ahead and get their aggressions out, so long as they keep over there, away from the furniture I've got left. Oh, what have you got? No way, is it the funny green guy? Where? I don't see funny green man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm half asleep. Go sleep then. Take a nap. Increases your spell damage by 23, holy shit. What's my current rage? I don't have any rage, okay. You drink the whiskey and you feel your skull get a little bit tighter. And I just contracted cancer, okay. A nap at 7 p.m., weird? No, I, I, I'm serious. You drink the fancy cocktail. I hope they make them like this forever. It's a real Frisco fracas. Well, unfortunately, I gotta skip that one out for the time being until the time runs out. <coughs> I forgot to ask Circle, how are you doing? Actually, I think the time would be up. COVID, don't say that. Yeah, I think I think the time's up. <laughs> I have eighty-six mysticality. <laughs> This Ram Ranch. <laughs> nice one, Pancake. How's it going? This looks like something made in 10th grade programming class and I love it. How's it going, Ouija board? I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, I'll be going. No worries. I, I still appreciate it. from that brawl relatively unscathed. Decent whiskey, decent wine, decent tequila. Nice. Oh, is this just a grinding area? Okay. Yeah, it ceased to exist for a bit. Well, I hope you're doing alright. Rather make sure Google Home played on the daily. That, that, that shit's funny. 18 naked cowboys at Ram Ranch. Fucking love it. Let's go to the comedy shack. A tree next to you explodes in a shower of splinters. You turn your head slightly to regard a stump of a, with a hatchet sticking out of it. Then turn the other way to regard the large bear that, that threw it at you. 
On second glance, you see that he isn't a bear at all, but a big muscular man with a giant beard and bearskin pants. Howdy. If you think you're gonna take me alive, you got another thing coming. Well, what I was thinking was, was more like, what should I do for lunch? And, oh, that's a nice tree. I know you're one of them bandit hunters. Uh, you ain't gonna catch me hibernating. Al, you can't stop me. Thank you, you're right for the poster trick and hydrate. Why is everybody coming out for this? Oh, fuck my neck. I love fucking fire bean. You won. Here's hoping there there aren't two more like him out there. Oh, that's that's sad. A fire bean, yeah. What's new, Susie? I don't know if any ranch is out this way specifically, but if I had to guess, I'd say there's one about that way. You think it's worth following up on a guess like that? There's a good land out that way, and plenty of folks looking to make a life for themselves. I can't imagine it's been left empty. Olive Garden's homestead. Okay. I forgot this game was amazing. <laughs> Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hold on, what's... Is, is the volume okay? Wasco Shafter's the name and comedy is the game. Are you here for a real thigh slap and good time? Um... Alright, hit me. You hand over the meat and Wasco clears his throat. Okay, so a skeleton walks into a bar and the bartender says... Wait, it's a horse, not a skeleton. Sorry. Anyway, the after the that, the bartender asks the horse... Hey, why is your face so long, buddy? Oh my god. You want to hear another one? Okay, hit me. Alright, a guy walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve goblins here. Oh wait, I forgot to mention the guy's a goblin. Anyway, I'm the end. I feel like this is one of those things where if I keep fucking doing it, it's just gonna, like... It's, it's, it's gonna give me some sort of stupid perk. I think the volume is good, thank you. I don't understand why this game has a colorblind option. Fucked if I know. Alright, hit me. Here's a good one. Take my wife, please. Please? Alright. I just flew in from ca uh, Canada, which is weird, right? Because people can't fly. Except for in balloons or gliders, I guess. We won't have actual airplanes for at least another couple decades anyways. Alright, do I say hit me again, or do I uh, say that he's bad at this? He's gonna be like, oh, I have no more jokes. Hit. Right. So a guy walks into a bar and he asks the asks for a beer and a mop. And the bartender says, "What's the mop for?" And the guy replies, "Cause I'm a skeleton." Boy, it was really, really cold yesterday. You're supposed to ask me how cold it was. Here's a classic. What what walks on four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three legs at night? A man, but um, psh, whatever. So my uncle Alex thinks he's a chicken, and my wife suggests we should take him to see a psychiatrist. And I said maybe we should take him to a regular doctor, because I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be possible for a regular human man to lay eggs. The fuck. So I got a job as manager on a baseball team, and all the players have weird names. Like, there's this one guy literally named Two, and another one called I don't know. Third, fucking, and that's. The guy walks into a bar and the bartender says, "We don't serve." Yeah. 
This one's already done. No, knock, knock. No, really, come on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, wanna... Okay, then. I think anything will happen if you keep asking for jokes. Except you lose meat. I mean, I tried. Masco, you're real bad at this. What? No, I'm not. You're you're bad at the stuff you do. Dumb things, probably. Come on, let me tell you another one. Okay, here. Seriously, you aren't good at comedy. Shut up, I'm great at jokes. No, you aren't. But what about my... Your timing is terrible. Timing. <coughs> Sorry. I'm telling you sincerely you should quit. Alright, alright. Fine, I admit it. I can't tell jokes worth a darn. What else am I supposed to do, though? You're a pretty decent banjo player. The jewel at dirt wa in dirt water could use a banjo. Huh. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Can't be much worse. I'll head over there shortly. Thanks for the idea. All right, uh, Masco's Comedy Shack. Let's go to Dr. Morton's house. Also forgot to say, uh, Sai and Yurai, how are you guys doing? Catch a glimpse of something colorful out in the corner of your eye and hop down to investigate it. Before you know, you're mesmerized by a skin uh, rainbow of shiny, multicolored scales. A moment later, you realize you've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Specifically, the book about how uh, Frisco Vipers trap their prey. Because you're surrounded by Frisco Vipers. Oh shit. I love how they just kind of bounce. Those stupid hippie snakes into the, into the earth they love so much. Uh, oh, fiber skin. Oh, the fiber skins at least half decent. Plus three to all stats. Some kind of drilling machine, it seems to have taken a real beating. This doesn't seem natural. Okay. Okay then. Fancy high tech electric light, ask about it. Don't these new lamp things usually need to be plugged in or to something? Yes, but I modify these to run on ambient uh, arcanolithic radiation. You can see how they work more reliably the closer they are to that. Uh, Diuretic resonator on the floor there. There's some weird looking boots on this workbench. Investigate. Hey Josie, what's up with these boots? Oh, that's just inventions I lost interest in. What do they do? They're supposed to make you run really fast, but I couldn't get any significant boost out of them. You're so close though. Oh yeah? 
Sure, you just gotta write, uh, wire this up to the spring, twist this flange a little, and Bob's your uncle. Oh, wow. Clever. I'm still not interested in them. You can keep them if you want. Hmm. You have no idea there's so many books about rocks. The water of this vanity has been replaced with some kind of solvent. Okay. It's a bed made of stone. A bedrock, if you will. Fuck. <coughs> She's really committed to the whole geology thing. This was once a dining table, but now it's just a bad horizontal filing cabinet. Hi there, Dr. Morton. Oh, hi, Final. Did you have any interesting rocks for me? I thought I had moon rocks. Well. Oh, there's a thing in the middle here. <laughs> Interesting rocks. Yo, this one is shiny. <laughs> buffalo, buffalo. Buffalo to buffalo, buffalo. What the Sam L is this? It's covered, it's a bunch of ripped up cards, grutches gouged into the table. It's covered in be beakers, take them. It's a giant vat of blood, great. It's a vat of milk, that's less threatening than the blood. It's a giant vat labeled Iker, nasty. It's a giant vat filled with lemonade. Top of the slab, there's a skeleton shaped indentation with a buffalo skull shaped indentation with a normal uh, human skull shaped indentation should be. That's a good thing to keep in mind if you end up in possessions of the bones necessary to fill in the indentation. Look through the bars and see hundreds of buffalo human skeleton hybrids locked in there. Three to a cell. The keys are hanging right next to the door. You can let them out if you wanted, but they all look pretty angry. This guy up here. Oh, there we go. The M. Um, I can't be affected. Not at all what I meant to do. Alright. Black, some of them hadn't really fished. Ugh. I just need a little bit for the last of the fireball spell. These shelves are filled with hundreds of crates, each full of buffalo and human bones, carefully sorted. You don't really have anything specifically you want to do with the human or buffalo bones right now, though. 
So while you appreciate how organized these guys are, there's not really anything here for you. Oh yeah. Hey, that's the exact amount I needed. I have maxed out my fireball. Hello, General. Just a oh. Little wooden container filled with the reading material. Investigate. Ooh, advanced bean craft. This is clearly the bad toilet. Gained XP. There's probably trash next to the bad toilet. Discipline slip. Looks like one of the necromancer's cultists got written up. Two more of these and he'll be uh, ritually eviscerated. Nothing personal, just corporate possibly. You read over the infraction list on the slip. Looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms. I'm curious, you slip you stick the slip to your journal. A narrow band between the big canyon and the big mountains. Yeehaw, partners! How's it going? Too good? A Spartan caught. It's locked. Black Hood. Bottle of Buffalo Tranquilizers. They will buff out bu uh, Buffalo Tranquilizers. And a handful of pirates. Oh, okay. An austere caught. He settled amongst the thick black robes. is pretty comfortable. Wait. You wait and wait and finally hear some noises outside as a couple of cultists pass through on their way from somewhere to somewhere else. You don't get much of what they say before you... Uh... But what you do here is, dog, remember this. Icor before blood. Icor before blood. Bad idea, bud. I'm not your bud. Icor after milk. Ritual smooth as silk. Oh, I gotta fucking write this down. Glad to see the stupid walking of the Splatoon hat. Hell yeah. Uh, what the hell do I do? Uh. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta write this shit down. Uh, the music will periodically stop as I read this shit. No. I core before blood. I core. After milk. Just as up, you don't don't get it wrong, you cannot redo it later. Okay. I core before blood, bad idea, bud. It's milk before blood, your ritual is good. Why can't you get this? Because it doesn't rhyme. Okay, so milk before blood. Blood before Icor, start that soldier's... No, blood before Icor, start that soldier's ticker. Does that mean it's good or bad? <laughs> Milk before Icor, soldiers wake up quicker. Thank you for the hydrate. Milk blood icker is what they mean, I believe, yeah. Let me double check that. Alright, so it's it is milk blood icker. Skull, yeah! There's a wicked looking leather bound tome on this pedestal. Take it. Dangerously advanced next mechs. Okay.
Dark Howdy. Okay. Sometimes the most important thing for you is to turn to turn black for you. Okay, whatever. Seems like it's probably pretty dangerous, make sure you yes. Dark Arts is no laughing at the screen that read I said. The book is just the word howdy over and over again, and incrementally more horrifying typefaces. Dark Howdy, say hello to evil. Gain 10 mysticality, lose 5 missile moxie. Nice. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel so well. Clouded eyes. Your obsessive study of dark ancient tomes has made it so you can't see well enough to shoot worth a damn. So it was milk blood icker. I think. Yeah, milk blood icker. The liquid in the beaker begins to bubble. Watch the reaction. Steam rises from the beaker as the int reaction intensifies. The intense heat of the reaction fuses the beaker spigot into a useless mass of metal. How will it end? Wait, what, which, which horse did you choose? I chose Fix. The crazy horse. <laughs> okay, fire is cool hanging out. T uh, take care of you, right? I'm gonna... I don't know. I mean, I, up to you if you want to stay or go. You don't have to... Lurk? <laughs> Alright, thanks, man. Thanks for the lurk. Oh, there's an auto mod? I think that's an unfortunate typo. I will allow it, I guess. Because we all know it means nuggets. The third time you add something to the beaker, you destroy the last tank used permanently? Oh, interesting. Well, some size of what's left in the beaker is... Yes, tell me, tell me. When the smoke clears, you're left with a beaker full of a liquid that is unmistakably buffalo reanimating fluid. It's unmistakable because that's like, somehow the reaction caused the beaker to become labeled. The label says that it's a buffalo reanimating fluid. But, okay. Look, I gotta do something beer you. Okie doke, Jen, I'll take care. Here. No? Do I not have any? Final try milk twice and eliminate if I remember correctly. Okay. Look when the beaker begins to bubble. Steam rises from the beaker as the reaction intensifies. Lemonade faucet gets clogged up. What's left in the beaker is. When the reaction subsides, you're left with a beaker full of surprisingly delicious looking fudge. That whole process really turned a corner on you. <laughs> so fucking... Oh my goodness. Increases your muscle, mesticality, and moxie for, by 23 for the rest of the day. Damn. How the hell does one get bones to put on the thing? Oh, I guess maybe uh, destroying some of these guys here.
No, please don't come in here. Fuck off. Glutton for punishments. You can't just get enough of losing. You gain experience from fights even when you lose. Interesting. Fudges of Sevast disappeared to lemonade. Nice. Alright. So fucking strong. So I guess it's just a meat grind then. How the hell do I get... Hmm. You're a lot of activity down that corridor. Chanting, shuffling, shuffling of ropes, clattering bones, scary stuff you really shouldn't go down. You know what? Don't talk about it. Oh shit. Cell block is a grinding area, that's all it is. I thought it would give me like skeleton bone parts and stuff like that. Uh, Octa kill, Octa kill. Final, are you a bean slinger? Yes, I am. You single-handedly put a stop to the cult activity at Buffalo Pile. Impressive. You pretty much have this run of the place now. So if if you need any bones or anything, gain a perk unlimited bones. Nice. I need to, I'll come back when I have a skull, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab. Let's go back to dirt water. Ooh, that's the only class I haven't seen. I I feel pretty powerful with it. As you're riding towards your destination, you pass by a building in which a building in which a barn dance is happening. I guess it makes it a barn. People inside seem to be having a pretty good time. You lose mo you you mosey in and you have a grand old time at the barn dance. You learn a few new moves. Most of the moves involve pretending to reel somebody in and from across the dance floor with a lasso, but still there are new moves. <laughs> Shit. 
Is there a fence over here? Not yet. Alright. I want... Something you don't have. Fuck. Okay. Uh, package from Rufus. Nice. I'd like to send a postcard. How many postcards do I have still? The package is empty. Or maybe Rufus sent you some kind of special air. That sounds like something he'd do. Breathe it in. You sniff the inside of the package. <laughs> Whoa, it was special air. Did you meet Gary the Goblin in the starting town? Uh, yes. I think I killed him. Gary is the best partner without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, I, I made mistakes and I, I've learned from them, so at least. Oh, this is not too, too bad. Liquid bread for a company. It's not what I want. Murray's Curiosity and Bean. No. Tony's. Nope. Jerusalem, do I want to go? Okay. Gary will forever live in our hearts. Yeah, I, I know. go to now last custard stand you see a familiar outline of an army fort and zags fixed towards it to investigate the fort the sign says fort unnecessary all right let's check out fort unnecessary Somebody raised these cannons haphazardly and left them out into the rain. Oh. A harried, a harried looking young woman in a military outfit darts in front of the door as you enter. Oh no, I can't, ha I can't be having any more misfits in this jerk ward. Uh, you can either swear to me that you're halfway confident, heck even a quarter, that you help out this crew of no hopers, or you can turn right back around and march double time. Draw help. Ah, uh, yes, you saw the fort outlined to the mountain. Yeah. Do you think you'll solve the events of the DLC with violence or mercy? Probably mercy. Also, I don't know if I'll get the DLC just yet. Probably. I, if I'm going to be doing DLC things, I want to get uh, the Xenoblade Chronicles DLC done. Uh, and Which is probably going to be the, like in the next circulation. And the Hat in Time one as well. All right, I'm going to hold you to that promise. Come on in. I'm Captain Harriet Davenport. Name is Final Fire. What's the problem, Cap? Problems. Welcome to Camp Food Bar, where the, all the army's idiots and rejects are sent so they're out of the way. I have, I've had it up to my eyeballs trying to run this place. Please help these moron fi morons figure out their malfunctions so they can muster out of here and leave me in peace. Can you give me some details? Oh, crap. You need to talk to them individually for more information, but the brief is, we've got a scout who is blind as a bat, 
a guy, a cook who can't figure out how to make corned beef hash on toast, a guy who can't load up fire a cannon without blowing up or maybe shooting backwards, a guy who somehow, and I can't for the life of me figure it out, is too bow-legged to ride a horse, and a kid who was sent here just because he can't figure out how to tie a bow tie. Oh, and to put, just put the icing on the cake, we have infinite goblins living in our storage shed. Wow. Okay, begin to see the scope of your complaints. Pal, you're not just whistling Dixie. So what's, what did you do to get sent here? You can hear her teeth grinding as she growls at you. Do not ask. Alright, well, I'm just around. This guy squints as you, as you approach. Uh, how do I know you? Your fuzzy silhouette doesn't seem familiar. No, I'm just passing through. What do you do here? Well, I'm supposed to be a scout, but I went and broke my only pair of glasses. Without them, I can't see a dang thing. I can try to get you a pair. I'd be much obliged. I hear there's a jeweler not far from here. He could probably grind me a pair of lenses. Just tell him to make them thick as a dickens. Alright, let's go to jeweler's cabin. Off to one side of the trail, you spot a goblin digging in the sand with a shovel and a pail. Hello, I am Clams digging. Clams? Clams not being in desert. Clams is ocean things. Ha <laughs> ha, showing what you know me. Clams ocean fish being. Like slugs the shells having. Not in deserts. Oh yes, smarty human? Look at this then. They pull a large piece of shiny abalone shell out of their pail. Which, well not exactly clam. Is indeed an odd thing to find in the desert. You shrug and leave the goblin to the rigging. I figured, you know what, we, we can be nice. I do need more out foxes, though. Oh, hello, a customer. Why, hello, welcome to Master Gerald's jewelry shop. Uh, howdy, are you Master Gerald? Oh no, Master Gerald is in the back of his, there at his workbench. I'm just his assistant and translator. Goblin Jewelsmith. You're betting your britches, Sonny, and not forgetting it. He says that's right, the finest jeweler in the territory. Well, what do you know? I don't see anything on display, though. Master Gerald only does, uh, does bespoke work. If you bring in a sufficiently valuable gemstone, He'll craft it into a fine ring for you. Four feet. No trash work. Rocks. I need a pair of eyeglasses. For a for nearby blind watch out watchtower lookout. Can you make them for me? The clerk translates the question for Master Gerald, who thinks about it and then nods. Having some old soda bottles for grinding down should be working fine. He says yes, we have some glass of the finest optical quality. Is five hundred meter acceptable? The clerk invites you to have a seat in the living area while Master Gerald gets to work cutting and grinding some glass into lenses and setting them into wireframes. You flip through a goblin magazine while you wait. The lead article seems to be about social interaction with humans and the value of occasionally pretending to be, pre pretending to be dumber than you actually are. Okay, close, close enough for government working. Master Gerald has completed your spectacles with the utmost degree of craftsmanship. Here you are. Thanks. Have a look. Uh, oh, Josh, okay. The eyebrows are kind of, kind of wild. Pluck them. This must be a assistance toilet. It doesn't have enough rusty scrap metal bolted on to be a goblin toilet. This is a goblin's bed? Maybe? Let's go, Sphix. The hair on the back of your neck stands up as you realize you've run into the midst of a herd of ghostly floating cowheads. You've heard so that some ranchers, in a desperate effort to avoid uh, the homecoming, deliberately drove their entire herds into the ocean. If that's what happened here, it didn't work, and these cows are very angry about it. And can you really blame them? It's pretty messed up. Anyway, this herd of ghost cowheads. Let's move here. 
Fight him. Am I immune to like dark magic now? Either set those ghost cows to a peaceful afterlife or back to the eternal flames of hell. Either way, they're not your problem anymore. Susie Cars, okay. The scout squints real are. How do you have we met? I can't see a dang thing without my glasses. Yeah, I'm the one you sent to find your new pair. Alright, any luck with that. Here, try these on. He takes the glasses and puts them on. And looks around, looks around, blinking. Well, I'll be. Never realized what a dump this place is. He climbs up the top of the watchtower and peers out over the countryside. They work. I can see a dang thing. Hooray! <laughs> Howdy. What's wrong? Ah, oh, gee willikers. I had a pretty good job as, as the general's personal assistant, but I got fired and reassigned here. What happened? Everything was great at first. Pretty good at scheduling, and I can write shorthand. And I'm an A-plus boot polisher. But then the general went and decided he looked more serious and sophisticated with a bow tie. And he expected me to do the tying for him. No good? Nope. I could do a sheep shank, and a bow line, and a co clover hitch. But for the life of me, I can't get a bow tie to look right. The general sent me out here with one to practice on and said not to come back till I've got it. Oh fuck, that's 45 moxie? Sorry, just scratch my ear. It would be cruel to leave these people supplies. Lurk, thanks for Lurk, Tugit. Take care, man. There's a nameplate on the desk that says General, what's his name? The metal is basically, or the desk is basically empty, but you do find an old metal discard in one of the drawers. Metal of ad adequacy. Private cooker. How appropriate. Well, if we find you how to cook, like even a little bit. What seems to be the trouble? We've only got two ingredients here, and I cannot for the life of me figure out how to combine them. What are the ingredients? Corned beef, hash, and toast. Sure. What if you tell the toast as a road map? Think of the corned beef as. So I should put the corned beef hash under... No, no, not next to... No. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Can we try again? Sure, let's try again. I always play with music off, and... God damn, does it slap? Like, the, the in-game music? I think the in-game music of this game does, is really good. A shoe. He nods, it seems to... 
And think of the corned beef as your head. All right, a shoe, a hole in the ground, no, a shingle, corn cob pipe, shingle, shinola, Sh shingle, your head, shingle, hole in the ground, road map, corn cob pipe, road map, shinola, Roadmap, your head. <clears throat> yeah, and good music. Yeah, I'm surprised if like it slaps so hard. Like uh, this, like this game. Uh, to be honest, this game's art is. It's not the best. It does. It does. It does its duty. But it's like, like everything else about it. The sound effects, the humor, the music. I guess the the. the the characters, the story, it's all, it's all, it's all really good. Um, road map, hole in the ground, shoe, corn cob pipe, shoe, shinola, okay. It is really good, yeah. I, of course, I put the corned beef on the toast, just like Chanel on a shoe. Thank you. I get it now. Alright. Shouldn't take their food, they'd probably never get to be able to get any more. This horse has four left legs. Okay. Howdy, they call me Private Bowlegs. I can see why, you look, you seem uncomfortable. You ain't kidding, look at my legs. They're bent so far out I can't hardly touch both knees at once. Walking hurts like a dickens. Captain says I should keep you from riding a horse. Yep, uh, yep, they're too wide, horse slips out right <laughs> between them. Huh, I think I can ride a mule though. What with them being a tad lower to the ground. Oh, bend his legs back requires 45 muscle. What the fuck? Where would you get a mule? There's a place up north that rents a mouse. But I can't get out there on myself, so I need someone to go up there and set a contract on my behalf. And send him here. Alamo, rent a mule. What's his name? Private Bow Legs. Just okay. The ghostly shrieking moo, a cow skull uh, wreathed in its own pl personal blizzard of freezing wind and shards of ice swoops towards you. It is much as it's possible to ascribe an emotional state uh, to it. You would guess that the motion would be upset. Shadow the beast like snow and a half filled piñata, and I hate filled piñata. Fernal soul fragment cow fangs. Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Cow hate flashes in her eyes, her resolve intensifies. <laughs> this year's model. This is a bunch of features that you can pay extra for when renting mules, such as button muffler. <laughs> uh, leather floor mats, getting kicked insurance, saddle warmers, sound dampened shoes, deluxe eyeball wipers, <laughs> rear view mirror, anti lock hooves. Two ways sees sneeze through wind vents. Side of Colsa, okay. Looks like this is where you go to rent a mule. Just judging from the sign, you know. Howdy, welcome to Alamo Rent a Mule. How can I help you? 
I would like to rent a mule. Don't you have a horse? What do you need a mule for, if I may ask? Oh, it's not for me. I'm picking up, uh, picking one up for someone else. All right, there'll be 1,500 me. What? Whoa, no! Why is it so expensive? It's a lifetime contract. The rental business isn't what it used to be, so we made some changes to our business model. I suppose technically we should change the name to Alamo by a Mule, but we'd have to change all of our branding. And you really can't rebrand a Mule. They're too wary after the first time. Oh great, another customer. As if I didn't have enough to deal with already. What with the paperwork and the heat and the mule bites and someone keeps stealing my lunch out of the employee icebox. And my trick knuckle is acting up again. Gosh. Sure it would be nice to get a little peace and quiet, but nope. I've got to stand here at this counter all day and the hardwood floor isn't helping my uh, sciatica. Uh, just let me let me tell you. Don't even tell me, don't even get me started on what they pay us around here. The mules eat better than I do. Uh-huh. And if that was, and if all that wasn't bad enough, I wouldn't drop my daughter's birthday present down a stupid hole at a stupid mine. And then will anyone go and get it for me? Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. You want me to go and get it? Wait, really? Did, did a miracle just occur? I can hardly believe it. Where did you lose it? Oh, not far from here. A place called Deepest Delve Mine. I was looking to scavenge some free strings to tie up the package with, and I dropped it. And of course, because it's a bracelet it's, and it's round, so of course it rolls into a hole under some kind of stupid machine. Okay, let's let's do that then, see if we can get a discount. Off the trail's shoulder, you see some ancient petroglyphs carved into a rock. They seem to translate to, my last R-E-S. Speak to the one that's alone. Coal smash for 5,000. This weird shot thing goes down further than you can see. Why can't it go all the way over here? Oh boy, a toolbox. Gas cap. Okay. Bean iron. Delicate bean iron. Passable cave -in, don't even try to pass it because you can't. I'm curious about the speed runs of this game. I wonder if it's like, I wonder if they're half decent. Floor to ceiling shaft. I was hoping I could walk by it and find some. Yeah, this, is, this elevator has a lot of stuff wrong with it. Hit the problems. Bing, bang, boom, you hit the elevator in all the right places. It starts up like like it's surprised. Speed running wouldn't take that long. There are only 10 places you need to visit. And you get one by using Susie. Hmm. I'm still curious of like, how long it would be, plus what kind of uh, things you'd like to do. Like, would would being a bean slinger be a lot more uh, prevalent than say like uh, the the marksman? I don't. I can't remember what that one's called. Snake one. That's it. Nasty trash and hundreds of empty sarsaparilla bottles. Nothing of interest. Okay. Just a bunch of worthless leftovers. Nice cover, but still bare. These cultists are really going to town with the whispering and tracing of spirals in the air and generally being really creepy cult weirdos. They seem to be preoccupied with their spooky nonsense to notice you. Unfortunately, they're blocking your path.
powerless in the eyes of the master. Oh, what? Oh, no. I hope I didn't permanently lose her. Now they respawn? Oh, thank fuck. Dispatched all four of the cultists in record time. I got Sassaparalia and a Sassaparillar. Okay. I feel like the spiral one bits. Oh, here we go, more Elvi Brothers stuff. I love this stuff. It's a big cross made of Elvi Brothers stuff. Its precise lines and corners stand in marked contrast to the altar. Which makes your eyes spin and falter when you look at it. Look at the Elvi Brothers cross. This piece, cr uh, cross shaped piece of Elvi Brothers technology is positively thrumming with plot significance. themselves chasing spirals in the air. Six of them to be exact. They don't they don't seem to have noticed you, but pushing through them will definitely change that. Why is there a toilet flushing noise? Fucker. Man, that dark magic really doesn't do shit to me.
I gotta find a better way to get AP back. You defeat the pack of six cultists. Wait, or were there eight of them? There was there were six. Cultist mask, sass up. Sassaprilla Rilla. Sassaprilla Rilla. Tentacled badge and uh, Sarsaprilla Rilla. I'm gonna have a freaking stroke looking at some of these. Look at this also makes your stomach spin. The central spiral has a nauseating optical illusion effect. It makes it look like it's spinning, even though it isn't. I feel like if you get too close, you might fall into it. They get crazier the more that you the more you have. Okay. Just a little bit more for our fox. This thing is really heavy. How much muscle do I have? I need seven. Actually, we should check it to see if I can. Let me check my clothes. here, muttering and doing creepy tai chi. They don't seem to have noticed you. Not yet, anyway. It's not gonna do much, but at least it prevents. I guess I can't do that now, but I should stop making this wall because it doesn't exactly protect anything from these cultists. Thank you. 
definitely gotta invest in some, like, some more smelling salts or some shit. Managed to defeat all eight of the cultists in a fair fight. Unless you cheated somehow. Did you cheat? No. I got a Sapri... Sapri... Rilia? Uh... Sasar... Pro... Rila... Rila. I'll just get that good. Okay. This pile of rocks is seriously mortared together. 50 muscle. Fuck. I just realized now you can actually jump. That is accidentally pressed the spacebar. I bet she does fucking nothing, but. Wee. Are you transporting to beeps indicating a spot to the east of where you're riding now? You're not just fixing that direction, following the signal until you encounter a cavernous opening in the foothills. You discover a new map location, Curious Falls Mountain. Gin blossoms. What is this music? The snakes in that stack of rocks are not going to let you through here. The heck, they aren't. Whole snake. Shields is pretty good. Oh, fuck off. Try to set a world record for the highest number of snake bites a cowboy can get.
What a fucking dealing animation. Oh, I fucked it. Oh no. Fuck. Yeah, I did this wrong. All right, I gotta try this again. I think I fucked this up too. Yeah, I think I'm losing this. Fuck. Oh boy. Ah. <laughs> Now I just need some drinks. I think there's a... Hot dog? No. Welcome oh, back. A fellow moved in next door selling weird old antiques. He has a soul me a piece. Sold me a parchment scroll with a beer recipe on it and promised it wasn't cursed. Show me your goods. Am 
What do you mean? I have only had 28. So okay. Alright, where was I? I was... Curious Boss Mountain. Hey, mister, a young woman with dark bobbed hair and a white apron is standing make, by a makeshift wooden counter at the side of the road. Behind her, you see a campfire and something that looks like a cross between a pop belly stove and a steam engine. Uh, yes? You look like you use a hot cup of coffee. Considering the times we live in, that has pretty much always been true of me or anyone else I've met. Yes. Wait, any luck? Uh, am I? You sure are. You have been experimenting with some exotic new beans and roasting techniques. Got a fresh pot of my gourmet blend ready to go. Much for a cup. Just 500 meat. Just? That seems like a lot. It's nonsense. You might as well say 11, 11, 11 3 vigilion. But when you take into account the quality of the ingredients in the brewing process, how many cups are in that pot? Haha, <laughs> booba joke. Nice. How's it going, Sphix? Possibly just find that for a price of coffee. This is a plain old coffee. See, I take the finest supported beans and I feed them to the special breed of bobcat I found. You what? The raw beans are unfully digestible, so I roast them afterwards. You what? I brew them in a special uh, pressurized kettle, you see, so that's disgusting. I can't drink that. What's wrong? It's just a specialized form of pressure cooker. Not that part. The barista size rolls rice. I do wash the beans first. I'm not drinking cat poop coffee. I think the, the okay, what internet is working here? Nice! What's that, hat? Uh, it's a spittoon. Uh, don't be stodgy, it's quite aromatic. I bet. It has a very robust flavor. I you didn't describe it as delicious or even good. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. I drink it myself, except, well, it's a bit expensive. 500 meters more than a bit. Well, sorry, that's what it costs. Do you want a cup or not? Sure, yes. You don't forget I'm leaving. Damn. Oh, there was something else there. Found string better than a plant. You like plants. Makes foraging random encounters more likely. Huh. Let's try the try this again. Some dress code bullshit at my school. Nothing I'm gonna obey because fuck that. On paper, eight. I am kind of curious about what, what kind of bullshit though.
They demand us, the seniors who are leaving on November, to buy the fucking uniform. They won't let us do stuff to raise money for whatever we want to do. You have to buy the uniform. That, that is beyond messed. Because at my school, we just rented the damn thing. <sighs> Uniform is overpriced as fuck, there's, and there's no fucking stock? Really? Wow. Eighth grade and still fits? Are you sure you're allowed to do that, though? Because I know a lot of different schools have, like, different colored uh, bands around the neck. It's gonna wear anything else out of spite. The only put those snakes in the only safe place a snake can be a snake grave. There's something strange about these rocks. Dirty mysticality. Some of these rocks aren't real, they vanish as soon as you look at them closely. Oh, what the fuck? This thing has a job to do, and is it gonna make it is it gonna take any of your guff? Put that guff right back in the bag and make sure you use a twist tie so it doesn't get stale. Attack it. I want the I want the gear. Hopefully whatever that thing was guarding was worth the trouble. Whoa. This is definitely one of the largest hexagons you've ever seen. Just came from Bro Uwek, his car broke? Oh crap. Hopefully his car is, gets better. So El poses who actually bad way. Make sure they let us wear whatever. I don't know why they're so anal with this here. There's actual, there's an actual monopoly with a uniform. The only store that sells it is owned by one of the school sponsors. I I hate that. That's a thing. Like, I'm I'm sorry. I'm, I have quite the beef with it. There's a cylindrical piece here that's very obviously broken. Place it. Put the broken cylinder and replace it with the one where you found. The machine wears to life with a riot of blue lights and weird noises. This monolith is dark. What the fuck is this thing here? Pabu, Stakutzam, Buga, Kuzlak, Kuzla, oh, Kuzlazak, Stakutzam. So yeah, more fucking pride fake to school that they can eat my ass. And if, and if they say anything, just uh, say, hey, it's uh, freedom, I guess, freedom of speech. Nacho Hosem Lazak Destination, Notazak Nakbu Disposal System. <laughs> something, something, something coffee maker system, something. It's a large alpha bottom machine. That's a bit. This machine has, machine has a small hole in, the, in either end and a large flat surface running through the middle. As you're staring at it trying to figure out what it does, a mouse suddenly runs into the hole on the left same instant, a mouse skeleton skids of the hole on the right. Huh. Push the skeleton back through. You slid the skeleton into the right hole and a very confused mouse scurries of the left hole and appears under the machine. This ma machine must be some kind of time cube. Marvelous. Put 
something in the left hole. Decent wine. Got a bottle of fine wine. Nice. Fine wine, bottle of vinegar. Fuck. Mouse pogey. <laughs> I'll be back. Okie doke. I'll come back. Or, uh, unless you're saying you will be right back. Push the dynamite through and it comes out older and more, more unstable. Oh, what is... Deals 40 damage. Oh, okay. You have to pick option 2 only. Okay. How's it going, Avery? <laughs> uh, piece of elephant brought a scrap. If there's only one option, I'm really just gonna pick that one. Look through your stuff to see if there's anything you make. Elephant brought item comes out the other side. Nifty. Right hole. Elephant brought a scrap. Keystone. Headband. 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 Okay, whatever. Uh, I I can't actually leave because I can't choose the third option. I created a loop. Son of a bitch, Avery. My cat is like a duckling, she's following me. Nice. Thank you for the hydrate. Were you streaming earlier? Why is band cheaper, huh? I noticed people started doing it less, so I wanted to try to like... How about? Nah? Okay. Elvey brought a battery. Okay. Headband. The keystone. Keystones are always good. Thank you for shouting out Avery. Inside. Man, I felt like, oh, I felt like utter shit this morning. Had to, had, got my COVID, my third COVID shot yesterday. And, like, this morning I just woke up feeling like utter crap. Like, I didn't, I didn't have, like, coughing fits or whatever. But, like, the, the, these shots have just been, like, draining my energy like no tomorrow. She hit a fillet? Nice, congrats. El Vibrato Pants. Okay. Oh, I... Fuck. Oops. When I got mine, legit put me out of commission for a day, yeah. Alright, I... Am I, am I still within the five minutes? Please tell me you have a timer. I'm, I'm on mobile. I can't see it. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the the time. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me. I have an idea. Uh. Fuck. There's ten minutes left. Ten minutes is the timer. Uh, like, because I I I made it cheaper, but I extended the cooldown. So that people aren't doing ban after ban after ban. 
which it should make sense. There should be five or. Bro, I hope you get more kittens. <laughs> uh. When was this? You know, I'm I'm just gonna make a wild guess. I want to say it's five minutes, because I spent some time talking and I and I sent some things to the other side. So, is is that is that fair, Avery? Because I I really should have been paying attention, better attention to the time. Otherwise, we're just gonna go through more, more and more loops. Yeah, all good. Okay, okay. How are you doing, anyways, my man? Tired? Okay, okay. Oh, uh, rain. I, I'm gonna watch this. Rainbow? Rain, rainbow? Rain, rain, rainbow? Thank you for the raid. I greatly appreciate that. Welcome, all raiders. How's everyone doing today? Was playing West of Loathing. Nice. What, what, what are you playing as? Snake oiler, cow, or cow, cow brawler, or, uh, Bean Slinger. Fuck sick gumbo. Doing well just playing this myself? Nice. Always appreciate the support. I have way too many of these things now. So, oh, uh Rainbow, thanks thanks so much for becoming a bonfire buddy. I greatly appreciate that. Bean Slinger? Hell yeah, Bean Slinger's all the way. You're definitely farther than me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll try my best not to do spoilers for you then. Not that West of Loathing has like that many spoilers. All, all the shit's half random anyways. Uh, I want to go to... Uh, where the fuck is the, pro pro the professor's house? Binge. <laughs> Did you, are you having fun, though? Where the fuck is this... Thing. Oh, I gotta go to Petting Cemetery. I have one of their things. Transporter starts mega fucking sake. Oh, fuck's sake. A bleeping noise, which means either treasure or monster, and who can resist that gamble? Not you. At least not this encounter. Anyway, your inv involuntary risk taken is rewarded when you find a high tech crate. Sadly, it is locked. Open the fucker. LV brought a punch card complicated. Huh. It's a stupid game, so it suits my brand. <laughs> I, in all honesty, I same. I I really enjoy this. Buffalo skeleton, desert ape. Armor, speed, spell damage, melee damage, range damage. I know it's missing pack rats. Damn fool hippie stole no idea what they were. Okay. Yeah, I got it right here. Bravo, safe and sound. Thank you kindly, fella. He gives you a poach of meat and puts the skeleton back on its pedestal. All day's work. Aren't you glad I got you that keystone? <laughs> Thank you, Avery. Tragically, I just started to doing voices for everyone and my throat takes a beating every time I stream it. I the problem is I can never I can never do the same thing. I I'm shit with voices. Drink you all or I'll make you okie doke. I I I I can't fucking do I like the two games I have in circulation right now outside of my like commonplace days are uh, uh, West of Loathing and Phoenix Wright. 
And Lord knows people have dragged on me for, oh, Final, why haven't you done voices for things? And it's like, well, yeah. I'm doing the same thing for Yakuza and it kills me. I, I, the, I, I, I know it's kind of like expectancy for streamers, but it's, it's something I'm I keep, I'm unable to do. I can only do one voice since my own voice, basically. I noticed you're missing Buffalo. I never actually had a Buffalo, but, the, but I still have the pedals still just in case. If you can find me enough Buffalo bones for a whole skeleton, I'll, I'll buy them off you for 50. Only 50. That could be up to 10 years worth of membership, assuming you don't smoke too much. Or in bed. Not yet. Notice you're missing ape. Yeah, that ridiculous fool Kellogg stole it to use for uh, an anatomy lessons. I tried to tell him it's stupid to use an ape skeleton to teach human anatomy, especially when there are plenty of actual human skeletons out in the desert for free. He just wouldn't hear it, though. Listen, I'll give you 50 meat to go and steal it back from him. Sure. Do I have the ape skeleton? Oh, I do have it. Okay. Marvelous. Well done. Ah, uh, welcome back, old friend. Puts the skeleton back on its pedestal and gives you a pouch of meat. Alright. The ape gives... Ooh, AP. Back, back, okay. Oh, just plus two? That kind of sucks. If I play this, it would just be a million versions of Southern. <laughs> Honestly, I've, I've been really enjoying this game, so if you ever consider playing it, I would say, I would say go for it. The humor's kind of stupid, but, like... I mean, just look, look, look at my horse fix. Professor's place is. Over here. There it is. You've crossed paths with Wander and Sally again. Hell yeah. I love Wander and Sally. character has a southern accent, the other character has a slightly southern accent, this character has a milder southern accent. <laughs> I got a cameo I'm happy with myself. Cameo? Where? Where's the suspicious sounding accent guy? <laughs> mask final are you okay no idea <laughs> this guy doesn't have a southern accent <laughs> oh I fucking okay I finally get what you mean my head wasn't so fuzzy still. Would you believe it? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't, but I'll let it go. That's a decently bad edition of Big Iron. Okay, but at least Big Iron is good. I could sell all those headbands. A 
The sound of gunfire draws your attention cautiously to whether you find a goblin shooting a large pistol at some boulders. The sound of gunfire and pin, uh, pinging ricochets fill the area. The goblin doesn't hear you approach. Uh, okay. Time to talk to it. Um, you are ex uh, you are to excusing me. Oh, yes. Hello, what? Hello. The rocks. Why to shooting them? For practices. The cracks and rocks to shooting. For a crack shot. I to seeing. The, this pistol. Where are you? Where are you getting that? I am making them out of things. To seeing it, can I? Sure. You inspect the pistol welded together out of scrap metal and are frankly amazed that it fires. Can I, uh, to suggesting? Yes? Yes? If you this rust removing, a gun better to shooting, I'm thinking. I am agreeing, only how to. I could probably to cleaning with a magic, but for a money. Sure, okay, I am having that. The only rust removal spell you know is designed for cleaning corroded cookware. But it works well enough. The goblin, delighted, gives some meat. Hell yeah. If I ever seen the, this game, the voices would be a tad bit of southern in it because I can't speak English without saying ta instead of two. <laughs> I can do an obnoxious Italian accent that would offend my grandmother. Oh boy. Both my grandmothers dead. That's dark. Oh, I need the my brother's scrap. Oh, it's it's a battery and a keystone. Okay. Professor is examining something with intense concentration. By the way, I've met Dr. Morton. She says hi. Josie, what is she up to these days? Well, I met her in a bar and she was soaking a rock in whiskey. Ah, still doing her hypercrystalline thaumorphic diorite tests. Good on her for being so thorough. Zombies? Bad chance to have ice cream. Oh. Go get go get some now. Wait, we might have some. I'll raid the freezer later. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. Is it Cole Ridge that has... You spot the unmistakable silhouette of an old mission on the horizon. I fend a few people for existing. Same, though. Trust me, I, I offend moist by being a VTuber. There was some El Vibrato craps uh, somewhere around here, I think. I totally agree with everybody that we do love you, Sai. Where is the hippie place? Supposed to be looking for Shroom Cave, Kellogg, Kellogg Ranch, maybe? 
See what you take in Oasis of the Boiling Heat of this region, and spurs fixed towards it. As you near it, you discover that you've been fooled. It wasn't a waste of all, but an evil towering black stone cow monolith. Anybody can make that mistake, really. Attack it. Hell yeah. You shattered that obsidian monstrosity, but good. Uncle of Horn and Minuto Geode. Yeah, this is not the right place. There's Gretch again. This whole streaming thing is weird for me because everyone's like, we want to show our support. Then why ask why it's answers like, we care about you, and uh, probably bad to say. It's not a very, it's an odd feeling. It's a good feeling, but it's an odd feeling. You know, I totally understand how you feel. I, throughout my life, I tried to be selfless. I'm not saying I was perfect at it, but I tried my best. And like, when I, when I first, like, and this, this is, this is going to sound really egotistic, but it's, it's when I when I when I started streaming and really amassing a community, it felt weird having like this circle around me. Does that make sense? And it's it's it kind of it kind of gives you like this feeling of selfishness, but. say you did a heck of a job looks like you saved the day and everything am i done any other ideas that's for the suggestion that's for the suggestion that's for the suggestion Sure what the hell I'm supposed to do with it. Uh, forge some bean, delicate bean iron. is flexible, versatile. Complexity on complexity hides it within its structure. So last thing you did for El the El Vibrato, I don't remember. iron at the shape you desire. It's more complicated than that, obviously, but it's, that's what it looks like. Contemplate your skills and materials you have on hand. You can make something out of some bean iron. Bean iron badge. I 
I feel like there might be something in Jumble Neck. Did you fully learn the Elvo Brado language? No, that's that's kind of what I'm trying to look for. I'm trying to figure out where the where the translator was. I know I found one once, but. Inside the strange well, thank you. Anything but strange, the name is El Vibrato. Okay, thank you. Small punch card. Elva bought a word for adjustment and primary. Clothing brooch. Select array online. Destruction and secondary. Storage increase and decrease. Fluid footwear and weather. Planetary containment. Oh shit. Resonator Emergency Rob Roberto. Uh oh. Reactor Terminal. Positronic Drone. Sedative Sustenance and Fabrication. What the fuck? Didn't I tell you Roberto is important to the story? No, I, I, I know that. We also need the numbers. I don't know where the numbers are. Select destination. Drone fabrication, second secondary storage. Battery and some seltzer. Battery and fluid. Scraps. Whining El Vibrato object. Professor would be interested in this. It's the number in the. Oh. Voice says four. Oh yeah, no, I I I got a number. I got it on the numbers. Uh, drone fabrication. I might do some off screen grind uh, off screen grinding.
Oh, that was really fucking loud. punch cards. Nice. Decloaker updated orientation. the battery into a model that it springs to life. Everything goes blue for a second. Gain 100% of the effect energized. Local and auditory. Chock full of elder brother energy and you feel like it take on the whole world. Partly because you're stronger and smarter and faster, but partly because you're not over also overconfident. It's not that big of a boost. Pachota fabrication. Rouge fabrication? The machine emits noise like a duck and a slot opens. The elbow brought scraps in your pack vibrate so you cram some within the hole. After five, the slot closes and reopens, having converted your garbage into jewelry. Outwards. <laughs> Nikolai, I never paid any attention to the word. Hobeni. Hobeni is ring. Okay. armor sets in this game like if you get if you get up where everything then auditory some nature contain auditory something containment oh crap you have no spleen it's for uh potions oh so hello artist how's it going this thing is just booping Screen says select Somnitra destination. There's a single button available labeled select. Single button available labeled select. 70 buttons appear. South 1 through 0 through 6. South 3. East 3. South destination adjustment two. So south five east three. The terminal beeps and the bloop the boopy floating guy behind you disappears in a puff of glowing squares. That deliver a, deliver for a practice debate Tuesday. Ooh, yikes. Also, please eat something.
When I got the device, I should probably bring that to uh, the professor. I'll send it probably for feedback sometime. Okay, okay. What's the debate on? If I may ask. Show him the whining object. Find an annoying whining drone. Wow, that is annoying, isn't it? I hope that goes away when I fix it. What is it? Hmm, hmm. Aha! Well, unless I miss my guess, you'll find this very handy. How's that? I believe it's for manufacturing a variety of fighting tools. Presumably they're helpful ones, otherwise why bother, right? This machine turns all my brown scrap into single-use combat items. That's what the professor said and I'm confirming it for you. I love I love how the narrator is just kind of like aware. For whatever reason I say professor in a Joe Swanson voice. Profess. And I can't I can't fucking do it. I'm not gonna attempt it. When you see the elbow brother ring, it sounds like a vibrator ring. Yikes. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, there's a little note on the side where it describes the different things you can make. You can make a grenade, which you assume blows things up. So make something called a maintenance teleporter, which the professor says will banish any L vibrato construct. You can also make an autonomous construct that will help you win fights by hurting your enemies, or that can help you win fights by healing you and your allies. Ooh, healing drone. my thing has gone through. Wait, what thing? Oh, your name. Nice. Hell yeah. I feel like there's something missing right here. And right here. Had to swap because long story? No worries, no one. No worries. Gumbo, stop that. <laughs> Can't read for either, there's a cat on my leg. Ah. Oh. Give, give, the, give, give the cat some pets for us. Investigating the smoke of a nearby campfire, you find a bandit snoozing cozily beneath a large and colorful quilt. Which seems like a strange choice for camping gear, right? And then he wakes up and jumps to his feet, revealing that the large and colorful quilt is actually a large and colorfully quilted pair of pants. In stark contrast with his whimsical pants, he is undeniably hostile. This is one. Hi there, sorry to bother you, I was just looking at the elaborately quilted design of your pants. This is quite a find you've got there. What do you mean? But well, you see, I'm a student of archaeology, and some of those patterns are very similar to an ancient strip I'm familiar with, or an ancient script I'm familiar with. I believe what you have here may be the key to a lost civilization. Would you mind turning around so I can see the back? Nonplussed, he turns around. He poked at the heavily quilted fabric while lifting the, his wallet from his back pocket. Hmm, yes, about two days' ride northeast. You should look for a great big rock. Yeehaw, thanks, stranger. I just robbed this man. Cat so bad, but my dad's allergic, so, and both cats are ugly. You can get a hypoallergenic cat. That's a little bit more costly, but you can like there there are cats that you can use to like or cats that you can get that are reminds me of this one took out where some guy was sitting on one of those Walmart carts with a mini. Supposing his friend was 
driving the car with the guy that took his loony. Huh. I just saw this man find all the remorse. I did have remorse. Leads you to the side on the side of a large goblin chopping down a large cactus. When it sees you, it waves at his ass, acts at you threateningly, and makes some angry sounding noises. Hey, it's a human person. Hey, human person. A way to going. It's my cactus. That's mine and not yours. Um, hello, hello. How are you? I will not, I will not your cactus taking. Good, yes. Good, hello. Why are you to chopping a cactus down? Why? What a lot of uses. To building, to burning, to eating. Little toothpicks. Do you have any food to having? The food, yes. A guffin, I to having. What's a guffin? Goblin bread. It is gray and damp and gray. Here. I was gonna try to convince. I was actually. I was going to try to convince you to give it to me, but I'm not sure I actually want it. To wanting it. Sorry, you to having now. Yours. <laughs> I wanted some go kind of goblin bread. It doesn't look very appetizing, like a soft gray potato. It increases your nothing by zero for the rest of the day. Nice. Where the hell is the... Maybe it's Fort of Darkness? Where, where the, the thing where you get the... Uh... Like, where you, where you get, like, the, the... The potions that make you high. I'm trying to figure where that is. Travels are interrupted by a fairly disturbing sight. A skeleton covered with weird glowing mushrooms, which is shambling towards you, making angry hissing sounds and weird gestures. Hiss. Gesture. Wow, gross. No, no, no. You're getting these gestures all wrong. You're not accounting for your arms being lighter than normal, so the momentum is all out of kilter. Hiss. I'll demonstrate with it without actually casting a spell. Watch closely. You wave your arms in a complicated pattern, which the skeleton observes and then duplicates. The, s the spell causes all the mushrooms to explode, blowing her apart. Oh, now I feel bad. Freeze your rating time? Nice. Potions that make you high, those are called drugs. No, I know. I think this is the right place. Yourself, oh yeah. You enter some bone chips and she stops muttering. Her eyes seem to focus a little and she takes some glue out of her toolbox, presses the chips into a ring. Bone chip ring. As soon as she gives the ring to you though, she's back to her muttering. Bone sword. Time to get high. Yep. You enter an armload of bones and she starts mechanically picking. My wires just started moving randomly, and I got really scared. And then I looked over, oh, looked over the arm of my chair, and there's a Elohim there. Good boy. What a good boy he is. Hi. <sighs> oh, there we go. Hello, kitty. Elohim says hello, everyone. Can I get some hello hellos in chat? Increase altitude? What do you mean? He's such a happy cat. 
Sometimes it looks like he's actually smiling. Elohim. General says hello. And he started purring. Can't hear because he's a little bit farther down my torso, but. Uh, I'm not doing the theory shit again. Cat likes me occasionally. Yeah, for a good reason. How about a free mushroom? The cutscenes have really taught you a lot about how to take advantage of hippies. Wow. Well, I guess I suppose they're ultimately free after all. Sure. One won't hurt. Plus, what do I even need meat for? person he really wanted to sniff the mic oh. he left he's, he's now on, on my headboard oh I actually never interacted with this guy okay this tall, muscular, bald man is leading his students in an aerobic workout routine. His voice is powerful, yet as disconcertingly soft as he counts off. One and two and three and four. Excuse me, what's going on here? Exercise. You must strengthen the body. If the body is weak, the mind cannot be strong. These two are one. Who are you? I am Kurt. So my methods will usher in a new age of power and wealth. Can I exercise with you? I don't have the proper attire, before muscle comes skin. Before skin comes clothing. You look around and sure enough, everybody has uh, this morning the same striped pants and weird fuzzy headbands. That's what it looks like. There's a place I wanted to go with now that I'm high. Where was it? Final, what did you do to the jam? I, I don't know. Pull out the Elvabrado headband and yank it down over his head. Hey, what, who, where? Leave first, ask questions later. He staggers away, limping. I guess Elvabrado, I can headband everybody. Hi, what's up? I got some rocks. Yeah? Master given to me. He wanted me to have them. Headbander. You open the Elvabrado headband out of your pocket onto your head. What? What happened to me? What have I done? That, that wasn't me. Can help all these cultists. I modified it, made drinking difficult. What happens to your mask? We no. put the elbow brother headband on her head before she has time to react. Hey, where am, where am I? Oh my God, what's going on? Why don't you use that phrase? You should probably get out of here. What? I, I can't hear him. I can't hear the master. What did you do? Runs out of the mind of a panic. Hooray, saving cultists. Hi, how's it going? New mask, who's there? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hey, what? I, uh, I gotta go. She books it out of the mine, eyes wider than the eye holes in her mask.
Master. Oh yeah, Great Dark Master of Wimbledon. Headband. You whip the Elven Brother headband out of your bag and wrestle it onto his head. Hey, what? Stop. What? What happened to me? That voice. What have I done? What's going on here? See, I was kind of hoping you'd tell me that. It was a a calling, an order, but also a desire. I heard instructions from outside myself, but in my voice. Instructions do what exactly? To dig, to free him, to... Excuse me, I have to go freak out now. They're getting dirt nice. Oh. Okay, so I'm just checking. What, what, what was... I'm guessing that was uh, another pot. Listening. The master of course. Okay. What? I can't hear him. What happened? I can't hear him. What do I... Why? Why don't you go outside and get some air? She sees his clothing fabrication. Interesting. Hey, TKJ. I fucking love this music, so do I. You're delighted to see the silhouette of a big circus tent towering over the pines. Interesting. Insert battery. Insert the battery into the model that springs to life. Everything goes blue for a second. Energized. Central. Detected. Wow, I have 102. Shit, dude. Crap. All right. I kind of want to go back to the snake spring and see something. Two hundred 
13 fucking damage. Do I want to go in regards to this? Madness Mod, Shaggy Dog. Oh, this is where the plaque maker was. Sorry. Met a big crate which probably fell off a wagon on its way to a ranch or something. Also, maybe just grew in the wild here? You've seen a lot of weird looking cactuses in your travel. Depressed rancher candy. Oh, that's, that's so sad. Handful of nails, lock, nerve pills. Blood building tonic and orthopedic boots. <laughs> they make candy for me just without the ranch. Oh. Something, something fluid, something offline, insert some fluid. Uh, sustenance, sedative, refreshment, sedative. Refreshment. I think refreshment is the best part. I I was very confused. <laughs> okay, so that's not a place I want to be. There's a my, uh, thing somewhere. Actually, you know what? Let's go to old mission. <laughs> oh. Pew 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 pew. Sorry. You're a priest, so you shouldn't mess with any of this stuff. 
Sorry, the catacombs are off limits. Ah, uh, but I've always wanted to see a catacombs. Not without Sister Mary's permission, which she's the only other nun here. Aha. Pew. Why should just add a self promo channel? This totally is because I might decide to stream eventually. There is one. It's which which category is it under? Yeah, it's it's under self promotion. Right under right under live alerts. After that case, which is spot for a skull, spot for a pelvis, finger bone. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back. They came back and just took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, slow down, okay? What happened? Our holy relics. The saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? To start with, take a deep breath and try to calm down, okay? What's your name? I... I'm Sister Mary. My name's Final. Now what about this... What about... What's this about saints? Our missions are... Mission is to protect three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait, do they call you Memento Matt? She shows you the ruler she keeps tucked in her sleeve. No, they do not. Okay, okay, sorry. To be honest, I have the whole stream category muted. No worries. What happened? The saints? Oh, it's too horrible. They just came to life somehow. They came up out of the catacombs, all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but I nearly fainted. And they took back the relics? Yes, if they are recovered before the cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. Uh oh, how much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue. So it's probably not all that urgent, but still. I'll get him back for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. Are you going to have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's a probably blasphemous, too. I mean, probably? But if black magic brought them back to life, that's super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh, dear. The Cardinal is going to want to have a very long talk about this. But go ahead and do what you must, I suppose. Curiously balanced the pyramid of skulls. They all ride up and twitch me. Are you sure? There's a lot of them, and they're really mad. Maybe angering all of them at once isn't a good idea. Let's anger them all at once. Easily dispatchable. Five heads are better than this one. Take the gold tooth. Stop it. And you really crack some skulls there. Well, one skull. You claim it's only position as a war one. The skull's not sitting at a weird angle. I guess it's notable for some reason. The skull was resting on top of a commemorative spoon. Your treasure hunting senses are finally honed, though not very discriminating. The skulls are whispering at you. That doesn't seem right. It sounds like gibberish, though really creepy gibberish. An empty alcove, there's a little serial number written below it. Oh, hey, this is where that skull you found goes. Okay. The pile of skulls has been cemented together for some reason. Creepy whispering stone. Interesting. Mm, veg comfy? I should probably be ending stream soon so I can go veg. So another pile of you unearth unskull a shiny black stone. It's making more noise than stones usually do. I was very, very shocked for a second there at what that skeleton looked like. I thought, I thought this game actually just had skeleton with booba for a second. You won, that's what you get, you dumb old skeleton. Hooray! This pile of skulls is strictly decorative. 
This way to the pas Paseo del Santo. I'm sorry if I botched that. It's a plaque. Here lies Saint Beefus. After he died, he his body kept trying to rise to heaven. But it was so heavy, it just kind of flopped around a bunch. They had to inter him in a big stone sarcophagus to put a stop to it. Jeez, they really knew how to build heavy stone sarcophaguses back in the day. Oh, you dirty bastard. Yeah, I know. Those look like massive balls. <laughs> you crunch the strain and force the heavy stone sarcophagus lid open. There's a skeleton inside. Holy crap. His bones are huge. Fortunately, he appears to be asleep. bigger they are, the harder they excommunicate. <laughs> Say beef is his finger and thigh. The remains of some kind of dark ritual. The stuff looks like it was abandoned weeks ago. What does it say? It's a plaque. Here lies Santa Cortada. She was drawn and quartered by heretics and then the quarter that had her head on it was beheaded. This dismemberment was so effective that nobody was able to get our body to stay together even after she was just bones. Being too hot for him. Saint appears to be resting in pieces. Reassemble it. Okay, you're pretty sure you've got the bones assembled correctly. Now fight them. No, but at the very mo at the very last minute the bones fly apart again. Seems like all you accomplished was making them angry. Rats. Well done, now Santa Cortada's in pieces so small they can't do any harm. Skull and ring, nice. Here lies Saint Pope. He was excommunicated for impersonating a Pope. There was some kind of bureaucratic issue so they weren't able to unbeautify um, un him. I, I am Pope, Ser I, I am a Pope, seriously. <laughs> St. Pope stands uh, beatifically behind the dais. dais. Uh, he, he just keeps doing his Pope gestures, ignoring you. How could someone look so smug without even having a face? The longer you watch him, the more he gets on your nerves. You unleash a torrent of insults that would make a sailor blush. And a sailor's mother ashamed of a sailor. Pope's eyes narrow. Looks like he finally managed to make him mad enough to fight you. You put it into St. Pope's heresy once and for all. Pope's velvet and fake Pope hat. Nice. Just some trash. Clove, cheru uh, cheroot buds, stubs of Black Islander pencils, that kind of thing. The Necromancer's cultists are real litter bugs. It's strange though, how did he even get in here? Find a little square of yellow paper. With a magic word on it, poor security practice. The note says Abracadaver. That's gotta be important. Alright. Thank you for trying to recover our legs, be careful. I just saw an empty coffin just inside the catacomb door. Oh, don't worry about that. We're just storing that for an escape artist. Escape artist? Yes, he was taking his act on the road, but he needs to light his luggage. So he gave us a generous donation in exchange for storing it. For Covered all the relics. Oh, praise be. Glad to have helped, sister. 
Let's reward you for your efforts, so we don't have much, but I can give you this old sensor. We don't We don't use it anymore because Sister Penelope is allergic to the incense. Look, I don't want to tell you what you can and can't say, but let's call this a, let's call this a shiny gold colored metal sensor and leave it at that. I think I'm going to call it quits here for today. Uh, let's figure out somebody to rage. In all honesty, I'm kind of shocked so many people wanted to come in and watch this. I guess Breath of Loathing is kind of making a kickback. Alright, we have... Five different options. We have Pipetron, Turnip, Iris Agate, Minehot, and Bathwater Bro. What are we thinking? Pipton Chatters. Ha. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I want to show my support to homies no matter what their community is like. Even if a lot of them are kind of, like, toxic. But at least Pipe's community seems to be at least half decent when he's live. So what are we thinking? I'm not trying to... Uh, no, I, I'm not sorry. I'm not trying to rip on you, Sai. Half of Pipton's chatters are odd, the other are real chill. That's what that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so who are we thinking of rating, guys? Turnip, Iris Agate, ba uh, Mine Hot, or Bathwater Bro. What are we coming back to? We're fi we're figuring out how to raid. Who to raid? Excuse me. Thank you for dropping the links, Fix. We still haven't figured out who to rate, though. <laughs> How about Pipton so I can go mod? Okay. If we want to, if you want to read Pipton. Uh, why are people eyeing? Genuinely, I'm in both. <laughs> Actually, I should probably say the games. Pipetron's playing Town of Salem. Obviously, he's achievement hunting. Uh, Turnip is doing Fantasy Star Online. Uh, Iris Agate's doing Amnesia. Minehot's playing Animal Crossing. And ba Bathwater Bro, Bro is playing Gloomwood. I come out and do shit because my brain needs so much shit to focus on. Oh my, gets placated. I uh, honestly kind of impressive. Like I, I, I can't fucking do that shit. Thank you, General. We haven't raided Iris in a while. All right, so we have one for one for Pipton and one for Iris. What is what are people thinking? Someone say something quickly. Say a name. I vote not Pipetron. Okay, I generally can't chill without having at least two things to focus on. Okay, you know what? Let's let's yeah, let's read our second. Uh, oh, this ch this channel has follower or subscriber only chat. Um, well, it kind of leaves raid messages out of the question.
I feel bad for you guys if I left it. You know what? I'm not. I'm gonna cancel that one. I'm. I'm actually. You know what? Uh. Like I. 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 I understand. Uh. Like we want to go and support. Actually, no. Yeah. Fuck it. I guess give give her, give her a quick follow. Use the raid message and. Up to you if you want to continue following her. Just make sure you show your support. That's all I ask. Uh, the read message will be... All right, how's this? All right, remember, if you want to, if you need, to, if you want a message, you have to follow or subscribe. Um, but I hope everybody has a good rest of their day or night, depending on where you are. Um, as a heads up, next Sunday, or one week from today, is when Golden Marshmallow Seven is going to occur. Uh, the game, I will, I will be posting more information about it on the Discord, uh, if people are interested. Um, but as for the game, it'll, it'll be last day of my spring break. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's make it a good one then. All right. Take care, everyone.